2022 saw major changes in the top level WRC car regulations with the introduction of the new Rally 1 cars. The cars were drastically different from the previous generation and featured far less aero and a brand new hybrid powertrain. If you want to see a detailed explanation of the changes, check out our Rally 1 vs WRC car aero video. Since then, the FIA has made a few updates to the regulations. Some of them are as simple as changing the terminology, and that's it. Let's take a look at those changes. Number 1. Aerodynamic Profile The aerodynamic profile was previously referred to as the wing profile in last year's version of the regulations. In the new regulations, it's described as a section generated by two arcs with different curves and or centers joining at the leading edge at the front that meet at the trailing edge at the rear. The purpose of this being to exert an aerodynamic effect of lift or downforce. In the case of the Rally 1, and really any race car for that matter, this is strictly for downforce. The easiest way to visualize this is to think of an airplane wing or airfoil and flip it upside down. In the same way that the airplane's wing generates lift to make the plane take off, this does the opposite by using the force to push the car harder into the road, ultimately giving it more grip. These aerodynamic profiles can be seen in multiple locations around the Rally 1 cars, the most notable of which is the rear wing, but teams have also started using them in other places like the supports for the door mirrors. Number 2. Winglets the FIA describes winglets as low-span aerodynamic profiles with or without an end plate. Winglets are similar in shape to the aerodynamic profile that we previously discussed, but in regards to the Rally 1 cars, they are basically a small wing that protrudes from the sides of components like the rear wing. You can clearly see the use of winglets on the sides of the Ford Puma rear wings. As you can see, they feature large end plates that help to direct the air and make it more efficient at creating downforce. Number 3. Dive Planes The regulations spell out dive planes as a continuous surface that protrudes beyond the bodywork surface. Their function is to create additional downforce and direct airflow by dividing and channeling it between the upper and lower surfaces. Dive planes were one of the most prominent aerodynamic features on the previous generation of WRC cars. They were banned with the new regulations of the Rally 1 car, which is why you don't see them these days. Because of that, it's interesting that they even mention them in the latest version of the regulations. Number 4. Wing Fences Wing fences are flat vertical plates fixed to one or several surfaces of the rear wing and parallel to the airflow going over the car. Wing fences have been a notable feature of the rear wing on WRC cars for the last couple decades. They are the vertical supports that you can clearly see in use on the rear wings of the old WRC Subarus and the previous generation of WRC car. They're used to help with stability at high speeds in a straight line while also providing the car with lateral stability and control while cornering and sliding sideways. Number 5. Gurney Flaps Gurney flaps are the small vertical pieces of material that are installed along the edge of a surface. You can clearly see these on the trailing edge of the rear wings of all of the cars. They force the air to flow over them and the flaps allow the air to remain attached to the surface for longer. This gives teams the ability to set the wing at a lower angle of attack while still providing high amounts of downforce. When a wing is set at a higher angle of attack it causes a lot more drag, so this helps cancel that out while still providing the downforce. Large boards or turning vanes are curved planes situated longitudinally whose function is to guide and redirect the airflow. In the case of the Rally 1 cars, you can see these on the front bumpers. They resemble the dive planes that we previously discussed, but they are far less effective at creating downforce. They help direct air up and over the wheel arches and help it travel along the side of the car, towards the side scoops, and the winglets on the side of the rear wing. From what I can tell, these updates are simply to help add more detailed definitions about these parts and avoid any gray areas in the rules or misinterpretation by the teams. I'm sure we'll see how teams decide to use them throughout the season this year. Thanks again for watching another one of our videos. We'd appreciate it if you hit the like button, and if you want to see more rally videos like this one, tap that subscribe button so you don't miss any in the future. Catch y'all in the next one.